I have edification this morning. And we're looking at Romans uh, 6, 16 through 18. It says, Do you not know that to whom you present yourselves slaves to obey, you are that one slave whom you obey, whether of sin leading to death or obedience, obedience leading to righteousness. But God be thanked that though you are slaves of sin, yet you obey from the heart that form of doctrine which you were delivered. And having been set free from sin, Amen. you became slaves of righteousness. Okay, so the edification in that is this. First, you have two choices. God or the devil. There's no such thing as a middle ground. Some people say, well, I, I'm not serving the devil, but I'm not serving God. Well, actually, if you're not serving God, by automatic default, you are serving the devil. So you choose who's your master. Because, as they used to tell us, you're going to mind somebody. <laughs> right? So you either are minding the devil or are you minding Christ. Now, for those of us who have chosen Christ, it seems like at times it was so much easier serving the devil. Because when I served the devil, I didn't have a war with trying to be good. It was just do what I do, right? But then when you become a Christian and you really know God, it's like all of a sudden stuff is wrong that was never wrong before, right? I learned not to surf channels because you start surfing channels instead of going to the guide. And as you're surfing, there's something there that you shouldn't be looking at. And you're like, I'm going to turn this. I am going to turn this. <laughs> right? Because I have chosen to serve sin. But inside, I really want to serve Christ. And this is where a lot of believers have the, the, the issue of feeling like this is hopeless. This is pointless. I can't change. I'm never going to change. God, you won't change me. I quit. Well, in verse 17, it says, yet you obeyed from the heart that form a doctrine which you will receive. In other words, my core being, me, with God, I really want to do what is right. What is right is where my heart is. What is right is what I'm striving for. Just getting my the rest of my being to follow that is the problem. But that means you're in the spirit. Because when you are not in the spirit, there's no conflict. And why is that? Because you became a slave of righteousness. And that takes you back to when I didn't know God, it was simple. All I did was sin. There was no conflict. But now that I'm a slave to righteousness, I can't even enjoy my sin. Right? Then you had this argument with God. Okay, maybe you guys don't have this argument with God. But I have this argument with God. Lord, check this out. I know you're pure, you're holy, and unchangeable. But for my sake, this one time, <laughs> you should adjust your holy nature and allow me to sin. With no consequence. Okay, then I got to repent because he's not going to do it. And <laughs> so, be encouraged. If you had that struggle, it's because you are a slave to righteousness. Amen. That's my edification for today.